in our company, um, we do a lot of uh, development with retaining employees from just working together as a team. And we do a lot of extracurricular activities where we do bowling outings or company parties and we're more friends. Um, so I think that's important to people. And we also, we give people their vacation days and sick personal days. But once they use those, we allow them to basically take as many other days as they want. And people say that's very important to them as well. Um, so like if they need a mental health day or something, it's more lenient. And so I think when you talk to the employees and actually see what they want, um, that's beneficial. <laughs> this is something that for us, we've kind of worked on for a long time, but um, we want to make sure our, our employees feel valued, um, that they are excited to come to work. We're providing a workplace where they feel cared about, providing a an experience to where it's not just salesmen that get to go have a lot of fun, but our employees get to have a fun uh, work-life balance. So um, making sure they experience things that maybe they wouldn't get to experience uh, working for uh, another type of service industry. Attracting and retaining employees, like I, I think we tend to look at it as a business analytical kind of decision, right? Like how can I get a body in a truck? And what that focus needs to pivot is to the person in the truck, right? The, the, the guy who's in the uniform rather than the body in the uniform. Uh, the moment that you make it about the person, the moment that you make it about the individual is, is when you're going to start attracting that talent. It doesn't matter if you pay the best, it doesn't matter if you have the best benefits in the world. Uh, you know, you've got the shiny new equipment, you've got the brand new trucks, all of it. If at the end of the day, you're not making sure that that, uh, that person feels valued, that person feels validated and wanted and appreciated, none of it matters. Camaraderie, basically, for your employees. Nobody wants to be the lone wolf out in the middle of nowhere doing something. They want to have a group that supports them, that they can lean on and, and be able to talk to, get answers from, and, and feel like it's a team. And so I think the biggest thing from this that I've taken is, is people push that team feeling very heavily with their, their employees.